Okay, so if you've seen my other video on the window right now, which is where we currently are. Um, I had mentioned that there's some updates and changes and they've added a few things to their, their venue here. Uh, a lot of good stuff here. Um, I have really no constructive criticisms. I figured I'd just use this opportunity to go around the campus to exemplify what they've upgraded and changed. So if you've been here before and you haven't been here in the last year or two, these are some of the things that you can look forward to. And if you've never been here, well, these are some of those stuff that, you know, they've added to their, uh, their array of different services. And so far, everything has just blown us away. I'll start with this. <clears throat> One of my pet peeves anywhere I go is trying to get a good cup of coffee. I'm a bit of a coffee addict. And uh, they have this now. This wasn't here a couple of years ago. The Star Cafe. Absolutely amazing coffee. It's basically set up like a Starbucks. Uh, you go in there, you make your order, and they, they grind the beans right in front of you, and really neat. Up in here, this is new as well. You've got the corner sports bar. Sports bar. And they have a bunch of TVs that are in there. Everything's closed, it's pretty early in the morning, so I can't go inside. Cat, the, uh, the coffee is open, and it seems to open up around 7 a.m. in the morning, maybe a little bit earlier. Uh, this is not open yet, obviously, it's still cleaning. But the corner sports bar is pretty cool. You go in, have a drink, and there's just a bunch of TVs. They have World Cup going on, so we were watching some of the games there. This is new. As you walk around the campus, you can see a lot of these kiosks, these self-serve kiosks all around. They're all touchscreen, and you know you could kind of see what's going on. You can see the maps of the campus itself and what time certain events might be going on, things like that. They do allow you to upgrade your room and whatnot, but then the other stuff, like you can't book excursions through here. You still have to go back to the concierge. But I'll just show you the wave pool starts at 10 o'clock and then there's the Upstar camp and things of that nature. One thing that BR Star is pushing right now is the download of their app. They want the guests to download the app. You'll still have the concierge if you want to do things manually, but now through their app, you put it on your smartphone and you'll be able to book your rooms, uh, book your guests for the restaurants, things like that. So, you know, if you don't like talking with people, you just it's easier for you to just do it in the middle of the night on your phone, you can do that. The app is not bad, it's not great. Uh, it's a little finicky to work with, and at once, one time we did have to work with the concierge to book our restaurant stuff, which was resolved in 45 seconds, it was simple. So I'm actually leaving the campus part. We're still on the resort per se, this is the Lindo side. And we're just gonna cut across this cul-de-sac kind of thing here, this roundabout. You see all the worker cars here, people who work here and whatnot. Uh, bicycles. Bicycles are everywhere here now. I do know they have bike excursions, like you can bike around the campus, which is new. Tennis courts are still here. Uh, but they're pushing, like running, they have running trails now. There you go, this guy's doing a run right now. Uh, you could organize it so you can like link up with other runners on the campus and do running trips. There's another one. Maybe he's just in a hurry. Uh, things like that. That's all new. That wasn't here before. And, most importantly, Wi-Fi on this campus, which, you know, part of the appeal of going away is not being connected. But, you know, you need your, your service, whatever. Wi-Fi here is top-notch. No matter where we go, hey, oh, oh, oh. Wi-Fi here is top-notch. Absolutely, no matter where we go, we never lose data. Uh, my kids were FaceTiming with their grandparents the whole time, and everything was good. So, that was a per pluck, uh, perk and a plus. So, this is what we call like the mall side of things. And they have like little shopping stores and places where you can get, you know, things to eat. We come here at nighttime. Usually we're done with our dinner. But we're all kind of dressed up and whatnot. And it's pretty cool to walk around here. Right now everything's closed, obviously. It's pretty early. But as you go through, I can show you some of the stuff that's new. Here's more of those kiosks. Those are all interactive. Carousel's always been here. This is different. Sweet home. I do remember like a popcorn thing here a while ago, but now it's like they do soft serve ice cream as well. And this playground wasn't here when I was here last time, so they added this for the children. Things like this were always here. We have like these little stores that sell jewelry and things like that and little artifacts of clothes. 
This is here last time, the crepes and ice cream. So you can come in here and get gelato and you can get kind of fancier desserts. Something more fancy than what that one back there offers. As you come back here even further, this was here last time also. This was their original Star Cafe. And it was always nice coming here to get like a really good cup of coffee. You can see they're setting up in here. More stores, more shops you can get. Sunglasses and different tchotchkes. You want to bring home uh, souvenirs for relatives and whatnot and friends. Uh, let's see, this is all the same, this is all the same. It's so different being here during the day. At nighttime, this place is pretty jumping. You come here and everyone's kind of hanging out. They got music going. So last night, there was a mariachi band that was hanging out on top of that gazebo right there. So that was kind of cool to hang out and listen to live music. Church is here. Beautiful, beautiful church. I don't believe it's open, but it's absolutely gorgeous inside there. Uh, hibachi. I think the hibachi place is back that way. Hibachi, we had hibachi here last time. It was absolutely delicious. Leather store is still here. This was here last time I was here. And my kids always get a kick out of this place because they have some interesting mugs, so to say. <laughs> so they always giggle when we walk past this. And mugs and they're big into skulls. A lot of artifacts, uh, sand capsules and whatnot. This is new. Taquito. Taquito during lunchtime. The line will go from here and go all the way down there. I have not tried the food yet. It's gotta be amazing though, because of the amount of people that flock to it. See, if you look at the menu, they have uh, all sorts of different tacos. Spicy pork and chicken, flank steak. How do you go wrong with any of this? This is amazing. Cool menu, big enough where like you have a lot of variety, but not too big where it becomes overwhelming, which is what you want, like just a kind of a fast food pick up and run kind of joint. More seating and whatnot. Everyone always kind of hangs out here at nighttime. This is all lit up at nighttime, which is really cool. And they got the fountains going and whatnot. As we go back here, they added some more places to get food. The food here, I mean, everywhere you go, there's food. It's amazing. I mean, there, I have been to places where at nighttime, it was tough to get a bite. Here? Oh my lord, it's impossible not to get one. This is a spa. Spa is not open yet. <sighs> Let's see. And then, is this the hamburger place? There's a new hamburger and hot dog place. I think it's called hamburgers and hot dogs. Yes. It's called burgers. Let's come around the other side. That's the back end of it. So let's go to the front side. Let's see. Here it is. So it's kind of hidden away. You see, it's like this hallway. And then there it is. Hamburgers. Again, haven't tried the food here. There's always a million kids hanging out here getting food. And again, they got a nice menu here. Nothing too extensive, nothing crazy. You know, get whatever you want on the run and go. And then they have like self-serve for the soda. Soda fountain and whatnot. And it's big enough where a couple people can sit there. Small enough where it's not using up too much space. This is probably the main attraction though. Here's the casino. Last night I tried to film in there and they weren't having that. They were very nice about it, but they asked me not to. So I said, no, not a problem, and I split. In the casino, you've got, it's basically three sections. Over here, all slot machines. This side, all slot machines. And in the dead center, you have all of your tables. Craps and roulette, things like that. I don't think this is gonna work. Eh, it's working better than I thought it would. Just to give you an understanding of what's going on here. So those are all the tables. Craps and roulette and whatever, and then all the way in the bank, uh, the back, that's your bank right there. So you go back and exchange your credits for dollars or pesos or however they're working out. And that's a casino, so that's all new here also. Which is right next to, is this the club? Yeah, this is the club. The club's cool. Got this, this is a galaxy club. Star Wars theme. Yeah, they're closed right now, but it's like a whole space theme. Yeah, like cleaning and whatnot. Bar over there. So as the kids are dancing or whoever's dancing, you want to get a drink. Plenty of places to go. Get a beer, get a shot, get a cocktail, whatever. No excuses, you have to have fun here. 
it's impossible not to have fun here. This back here is more where like the faculty and whatnot come and go from. I think that's the golf course back there. Save water, drink tequila, absolutely. More shops, this is all here last time. Cigars, they have a cigar place over here. That's a small cigar place. Here's only just a little bar. And then there was like a legit cigar place that was around, that's it. I think this is like the real deal cigar place. Everything's closed, the AC's off, so that's why everything's all kind of foggy and muddy looking. But it's not like this at nighttime. Maybe we'll get some nighttime shots also. More clothing, you wanna get bathing suits or shawls or whatever. And that's it. We just did our full swoop and here we are again at the carousel. So I hope that answers any questions that you might have. And uh, we'll be here for another day or so. And if I see anything else, I'll, uh, I'll spotlight it. But that's it, this place is amazing. Nothing at all bad to say about it. It's always easy to find some kind of constructive criticism. I'm really struggling here. I'm really struggling here. Everything here has just been more than I could ever ask for. So, all right, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy.